So as soon as something is like this is very, very strong, what does it mean by strong? It means that this thing, whatever it's a fear or something like what you speak about, desire, huh? why should you look at it like this? Because as long as it's there and virile, it has the power to hold the beingness hostage. You understand what I mean by this? Okay, it means that when it flares up, all the blood is going there, all the attention is going there. You're managing, uh, uh, you're trying to manage, and so you're not available, you're not free. And in India, in it's called Vasana, this energy, intense personal identification with some kind of modified thought. In this case, it could be a dream projection. I need to be happy, I'm looking for Mr. Man, who is going to make me happy and I want to create a story and it's grown over time and it's become now a kind of almost like an obsession almost and now you cannot turn it off so let's start with this so you find it already why is this so appealing first question why is this so appealing and then keep quiet with this question don't ask two three four questions why is this so appealing take a look keep quiet hold the question and it will come clear because something is promising that I'll be very happy and complete forever. Okay? Big, big promise. Okay? Forever. This man, this baby, me, mm, sunset, forever. Okay? <laughs> so you have identified, okay, this is the dream. This is the, this is the campaign. Huh? This is the dream, the advertisement. Now you find who is buying this. Who is buying this? And keep quiet again and see. Hold a picture of this baby prince mm -hmm. and see, okay, who is drawing so much attachment from this? See if we can locate and find, identify. Just keep quiet. See if we can find the one who is saying me, who has this life. See if we can actually find it. Don't imagine. See if you can find it. Don't imagine it. If you imagine, you are. You're fantasizing. Don't fantasize. Look and see where is this really holding power? Who am I? Look. And somehow in the this intensity of the inward turned attention, hmm, something begins to open up. A sort of space. And this question it cannot hold it anymore. The question is also dissolving. And it's like something is washing out all these pictures. You are again in your natural presence, natural presence, unassociated consciousness, this field. Stay there. Then something might feel, oh, great, oh, wow, this feels good. Don't identify even with that. Until only you are seeing. It's only here like space, outside space, inside space, no different, there's no outside, inside. There's a feeling of existence, but it's not about anything. So this is one aspect of the inquiry for you to do. Don't have any aim, just look. You're only looking to see what is clear. What is it? What is the picture that keeps coming back? What is the pull of this picture? The pull is a promise or a fear or whatever. Identify this first. And then second question, who is suffering it or who is desiring, who is finding it appealing? Then focus here. Just hold the question. Don't chatter. Don't chatter. Don't procrastinate. Don't evaluate. Don't interpret. Just hold the question. Identify who. Who is in the picture? Who is this? See if we can see. But don't fantasize. Don't imagine. Just see if there is something apart from imagination. Is there an actuality of a me, an entity, eh, that is buying this? And so that inwardly turned attention. See what's happening, you see. Somehow you start to feel again this space is coming now. 
it will burn all of this noise, take all it out, it's combing out all this noise. Then only you are here now, but you are only here as presence, not as person. The journey from person to presence, only presence. And in this presence, for the first time perhaps, you are experiencing yourself without. You have been thinking of yourself with. I need a with. I need to be holding a hand of something. I have to be in association with something. Now you are simply in presence. There is only presence. And it doesn't need a man and a baby to be happy. There is a natural joy. Nor not a storified joy, a natural joy is here. Each time you can bring. When you have done this, then you can invite any other desire to come. Say, Come now, come, all of you, bring your cousins and aunties and everything desires and see if they can hold your attention now. When only your presence is shining by itself, see if anything can attract you. And this you will come to know. You will not be panicking. It can come, these can come any time, and take them into the room, your own private room of inquiry like this. Start by identifying what is the big deal. What is it that's so engaging? Is it a desire? Is it a fear? Is it a fear of rejection? Is it a, a fear of being alone? What is it? Is it? Is it the desire to be attractive, or is it desire for family? Is it for money? Is it for security? Is it a fear of dying? What is it? Identify the thing, and then try and identify the one who will suffer it. Look, this is one of the stages of inquiry. Do this. If you have the chance to talk to me about it, I will happily to talk with you about it. I want to see what is your feedback. I have given you something, now you go and uh, make use of it. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Uh, thank you. Now I am going to say something. We are drawing nearly to a close. And unless you have to get that bus, don't leave. Don't leave. I'll tell you why. Because one time in India, recently in fact, we had come to this point of discussion where we are examining these things. And we are coming right now to the very point of uh, this question who is the seer? Who is the seer? Hmm? Who is the seer? There's no other question to precede this question, to follow this question. Now you have come to the quintessential question. You know what happened? I saw some people leaving, sneaking out. I said, Where are you going? <laughs> I said, the mind wants to go. It's too hot in here, I gotta get out. Something wants to escape an opportunity. I am not holding you here, I am just telling you. Watch this tendency within. Huh? Because it is not your friend. This uh, avoidance is not your friend, it is not in service to your truth.